quick geometry notes tutorial and it's gonna explain you how you can create two Bezier curves. You see I have here two Bezier curves and they are connected and I'm gonna show you how to do this with geometry notes. So let's get right started. I'm gonna start a brand new file here and I'm gonna turn on my screencast keys so you're gonna see what I'm typing. So first I'm gonna add a curve, Bezier, and um, to change the Bezier I go to edit mode and I delete all vertices. And I go here on this draw, which is very nice and handy feature. If you click it, you can just draw your curve as you want and you have a curve. That's pretty nice. Now I double my curve, I go back in edit mode and I hit A, X, delete all vertices again and I draw again another curve, maybe this one and then I go to geometry notes in geometry notes we do uh, this thing here we gonna uh, add a grid and we gonna tell vertices to 2 and then we are gonna drag in this Bezier curve in here and we change it to relative. Um, the other curve is here our geometry in input and we are gonna say we sample curve and we are gonna add a value node here and we're gonna say 40 this is our resample number so we're gonna plug this in here we resample both curves uh, to the same value so I'm gonna connect uh, this count here too then we're gonna join these two and join is very easy you just select both nodes and then you say control zero and then you have joined both it is a handy shortcut and then we join this joint um, curves we gonna take the information with transfer attribute so we can use uh, these position information on these here. So plug this in. Of course we're gonna have a vector, you're gonna need index and we're gonna use as a position. And then pretty easy we say set position. And the new position will be the transferred positions from the curve to the grid. And we need the count also in the y value here and watch this if we now make a nicer material here you see we have the two curves connected and we can live change the curve and it changes as you can see and I think this is a pretty nice effect if you want to have a shade smooth you can add here this set shade smooth and you have smooth shading on the curve. Hope you learned something. Have fun. Bye.